Hello and welcome to another Lego challenge with me Adam from Carol's Library. As always watch the video with your eyes, have a go at the challenge with your hands, eyes and brain and Lego and then with permission send us any photos or videos of the Lego items that you end up building. So have an announcement, today is the last weekly one because libraries are hopefully going to be opening up bit by bit now, um, letting you in a little bit at first uh, in certain numbers and keeping you safe and then gradually working back towards how libraries used to be where we can actually have Lego Club and Lego Challenges in the library. So this is my last weekly one, I'm going to be going fortnightly after this, that's every other week. So next week, no Lego Challenge, week after, Lego Challenge. So. The most important part of why we're here is the Lego Challenge. So what is this week's Lego Challenge? Well, let's have a look. I'm not going to sit forward and pick up models and show you this time because our challenge is a very special one. We want you to take your Lego, your minifigs, your bricks and your pieces and then grab a household object and work out how you could make that into a scene. So I'm going to show some photos of the scenes that I've made and explain what they are and what I've used. But yeah, anything in your house. It could be that you decide to use part of your garden or part of your stairs um, to make a scene. You could have little mini figs climbing up the stairs. So you've got Lego involved, but then you're using real objects. So what have I come up with? Well, let's have a look at the first one. The first one is a dinosaur attack scene. So I've gone out in the garden, I've found a nice little spot in the garden that looks almost dying, like a scene from a dinosaur movie. And then I've got some min Lego minifigures and some Lego dinosaurs. And I've got the dinosaurs chasing and the uh, minifigures running away. Some of them trying to protect the others and some of them just running in fear. So that is what I have for that one. Next up, you can see from this one coming up, now I have used the top of my sofa cushion and some plates and an empty can of spray cream to create a scene of some science space astronaut type minifig characters all working together with a little rover using the spray can as a spaceship with some Lego steps built so you can see them all searching around what looks like it could be some sort of Martian rock though in actual fact it is just my half of an Easter egg I have left and then in the background you might see that there's two little aliens having a sneak peek around the rocket so that is a space scene that I've made there using household objects there's three plates half an Easter egg the sofa and a spray can empty spray can of cream so that's 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 six things used in that one whereas the dinosaur one i only use just a section of the garden so the final one this is probably my favorite um, i decided i was going to use my sink in my bathroom so let's have a look so it's a diving competition and as you can see i've built it up so there's two guys sat on a table who are being the judges You've got some people queuing up to take their turns diving and then you've got a crowd watching and then I've used special clear Lego pieces so I've built up so you can see that the diver diving off the end of the tap into the water has uh, got clear bits so hopefully it looks good enough of us as a photo that the clear bits aren't too obvious and it looks like the person's floating in the air like they're actually diving. So that's like a nice little scene of a diving competition using my sink and the tap. So what are you going to build? Are you going to build mountain climbing minifigs on your stairs? Are you going to take a speaker and make it look like some sort of power plant and have Lego minifigs doing construction around it? Maybe you've got some bricks in the garden and you want to have Lego builders looking like they're building a new house. I want to see what you can come up with. So taking something from your house or your garden, um, it could be an object, it could just be a section of the house or garden that you, you think would look good for a photo or a video if you wanted to animate it, if you're, if you're really feeling like you want a challenge. 
and then once you've come up with your ideas and you've worked out what pieces you need and what minifigs you're going to use, set them up, get your photo or video, and then with permission, as always, send them to us to have a look because I'd love to see what you come up with. I had a lot of fun making these three, so I'm sure that you'll have even more fun making your own. So, as always, be creative, have fun, and stay safe. Bye!